We have breaking news at noon. Roger Stone appearing in federal court in this the past hour after he was arrested here in South Florida in the Russia investigation. We're seeing dramatic video capturing FBI agents raiding Stone's home early this morning in Fort Lauderdale. And authorities remain at the home at this hour. Sky 10 over the scene capturing a lot of activity. Let's take you now to some live pictures from the courthouse where Roger Stone could come out and speak soon. If that happens, we will bring that to you live. And we do have team coverage at noon on Roger Stone's arrest. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul is live outside his home. And Local 10 senior political reporter Michael Putney is in the newsroom with a response from D.C. But let's get things started with Local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg. She was inside the courtroom for Stone's appearance. What happened in there, Glenna? Good afternoon. What a spectacle outside the courthouse. Inside, though, there is no spectacle. This sort of focus, national focus inside the courtroom was just another day in a first appearance in front of a court. Roger Stone faced the magistrate with uh, it was a packed courtroom, a packed plus because a lot of people weren't let in. There's so much interest here. And I'll tell you about what he faced and the indictment in just a minute. But first, I want to take you high up over where we are now. Uh, over the federal courthouse on Broward Boulevard, where not only the national media has gathered, but so many people from the public have come. We've seen a lot of protesters protesting all kinds of issues, uh, taking Roger Stone's appearance and his arrest this morning and the indictment as a reason to be here and uh, show their either support or opposition. I want to take you first to video of the pre-dawn raid this morning. FBI agents showed up at Stone's Fort Lauderdale home before, just around 6 o'clock, before the sunrise. Uh, there were about a dozen agents in a half a dozen vehicles, caravans. They were suited up for a tactical, uh, they're a tactical operation. They were very quiet. They came in with lights flashing, but no sirens, very quiet into this neighborhood in Fort Lauderdale. They went up to his door. They knocked on his door. They yelled FBI warrant. And those on the scene said they saw the lights go on in the second floor upstairs. And pretty soon you saw Roger Stone come down to his door in pajamas. And that is where he was arrested. Let me tell you a little bit about this federal grand jury indictment that Stone was arrested on this morning. It is connected to the special investigation, the Robert Mueller investigation, special counsel into possible collusion of the Trump uh, campaign with the Russians. Roger Stone, for anyone who has followed him over the past decades, is a political operative. He is now South Florida based, going way back to the Reagan administration, very close to the Trump campaign. And at one point, working on the Trump campaign early on, always staying in touch through the election in 2016. And so what this seven count indictment uh, alleges is obstruction of justice, one count of that, uh, five counts of essentially lying to Congress, making false statements, and then a count of witness tampering. And it involves him as an alleged go-between between what we know as Julio, uh, Julian Assange and Guccifer and the entities that released and put on Wikipedia stolen Democratic National Committee emails. Uh, he, Stone, is alleged to have been the go-between between, between the Trump campaign and the people releasing what were potentially damaging emails for Hillary Clinton, of course, in that campaign. So this is a 24 pages that goes through a narrative of all of these allegations. In court today to face these allegations, the magistrate read them. Uh, Stone was shackled. He was handcuffed. He was wearing a Navy polo and a pair of jeans, not his pajamas. Uh, he spoke very little. He told that the magistrate that he did understand the charges. There was apparently a an agreement worked out for his bond, which is $250,000 bond. I believe he is in the process of posting it right now. He will be free, although travel restrictions. He told the judge his passport is expired, but he is restricted to travel to the places that he might need to go for court to address these charges, which is essentially South Florida, Washington, D.C., and the southern and eastern districts of New York. A little bit more of the raid VO t this morning, a raid video this morning. Uh, a really stunning turn of events. So many people who have been charged and uh, in this Mueller investigation have been allowed to turn themselves in to surrender. Not so this morning. This was, by all accounts, a surprise raid 
on Stone's house. The reasons for that yet to be uh, revealed, but there are warrants. We presume there will be a search warrant on his house for whatever might be in his computers. Let's go back up one more time to a sky view of the crowd in front of Fort Lauderdale Federal Court. Uh, I think you see so much interest here because of this agreement on bond, because Roger Stone, who is known to be uh, really edgy in the public eye, kind of loves the public eye, uses it. He used to call himself the original dirty trickster for the Republican Party, uh, really a very colorful character in South Florida. He and his uh, attorney are expected to come out here. I don't know if you can see here, there's a cluster of microphones. And we will hear from Roger Stone after this stunning turn of events related to the Robert Mueller investigation. Stay tuned to Local 10 on air on online and we will bring it all to you. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Fort Lauderdale today, Local 10 News. And no doubt he'll probably have some colorful words for Indeed. her to say. And Glenna, inside the courtroom, talk a little bit about his demeanor in the courtroom. You know, um, that's an interesting question because anyone who's watched Roger Stone sort of play the press and play with public opinion, he's he's sort of a, a, play, a playful, defiant kind of guy. He pokes the bear a lot with the things he says and he does. Today, he hardly said a word. Just to answer the magistrate, he was very quiet. He was um, sort of like a normal everyday guy, which I guess he is in some respects. But what happened inside this federal courtroom, despite the spectacle that you see, was really standard operating procedure, except for the amount of people who were so interested to be inside. And in fact, uh, there, there was a point where they were taking people out of the courtroom who were not press, part of the press, including an attorney who had to show his bar card. He wanted to be inside because he feels like he might be res, uh, representing some of the witnesses that might be part of this case. They finally did allow him to stay, but there were some reporters, some journalists, and many people just who had shown up to, to see and be watch the first page of history, so to speak, who were not allowed inside that courtroom because the U.S. Marshals are, and the judge just wanted to maintain a very standard operating procedure kind of federal court process. Uh, so Roger Stone appeared dressed. The, the first thing I noticed is that, oh, they let him change out of his pajamas where he was arrested today and uh, stood at the podium, really um, kind of jarring to see a figure like Roger Stone bound and shackled with a chain around his waist standing with his attorneys at his side and saying essentially nothing except to answer the federal magistrate. Do you understand the charges? Yes, I do, Your Honor, he said, and that was about the extent of his conversation. All right, well, we will certainly get right back to you just as soon as Roger Stone and his attorney uh, come outside of the courthouse. Thank you so much, Glenna. And our team coverage on Roger Stone's arrest is now turning to his home in Fort Lauderdale. As we told you, the FBI raided his house around 6 this morning. So let's go now to Local 10 News reporter Ian Margle, who is live there this midday. Janice Christie, whereas Glenna was saying it was standard operating procedure inside the courtroom, here in this neighborhood, it is very, very different. Take a look, you can actually see it is still an active scene. We're right here at Las Olas Boulevard and Coral Way. And this is the neighborhood where Roger Stone lives. In fact, he's just down the street on the right, just a little ways down. Sky 10 overhead does show some of the activity still going on there at this point today. The property filled with tents and trucks, agents going in and out of the house, looking for evidence still. Now down here on the ground, we've been kept at a pretty decent distance. We're actually about a quarter of a mile down the street, but you can still see some of those agents outside. We also know when a couple neighbors took a boat around the back because all of these homes are on the water here, agents actually made them clear out of there as well. This morning, former NFL wide receiver Chad Johnson, otherwise known as Ocho Cinco, tweeted out, quote, FBI arrested my neighbor Roger before my morning jog. I've only seen stuff like that in movies crazy start to my Friday. Now we're going to take you back live pictures of the courthouse. We are waiting for Roger Stone to speak and of course we will bring it to you live when he does. Back here live in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Ocho Cinco said it was a crazy morning and it really was that indeed. A lot of neighbors really same consensus. Just surprised this is going on quite literally in their backyards. We are going to be here all day. We'll bring you the very latest as soon as we get any new developments. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. Ian Margle. Local 10 News. Yeah, definitely a historical day for sure. And as we mentioned, Roger Stone is a longtime friend, is an associate of President Trump. But the White House today is putting a lot of distance between the president and Stone. Local 10 senior political reporter Michael Putney, he's in the newsroom with reaction from Washington.
And Janice, the main reaction from Washington is from the president himself, an emotional eruption in an angry tweet he sent out just a few minutes ago. In it, Mr. Trump says, quote, greatest witch hunt in the history of our country. No collusion. Border coyotes, drug dealers, and human traffickers are treated better. Who alerted CNN to be there? The president did nothing wrong. On CNN no this morning, Sarah Sanders said, Roger Stone's legal troubles have nothing to do with the president. This has nothing to do with the president and certainly nothing to do with the White House. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that has to do solely with that individual and um, not, not something that affects us here in this building. But Stone's arrest will have a ripple effect in the White House and in the president's political ambitions. Stone has been a longtime advisor, formally and informally, to Mr. Trump. He worked on the president's 2016 election campaign. It was in that capacity that he allegedly was in contact with a Russian hacker called Guccifer 2.0, a Twitter cover name for Russian military hackers who got into computer files at the DNC. Material harmful to Hillary Clinton was leaked by WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. Stone says he never met with Assange. Stone has repeatedly denied lying about his work for the president. And that is, no matter what happens, I will not bear false witness against this president. But Mueller's indictment alleges Stone did lie and urged accomplices to lie as well. This is the first indictment where it becomes clear that the special counsel believes that the Trump campaign knew about the hacks before this material was made public. And here we believe we have some artist sketches from the courtroom at the Fort Lauderdale Federal Courthouse. We want to show you. Well, we don't see them yet, but we, well, we are going to get them and bring them to you. All right, well, let's just note that the president in his tweet this morning, angry about CNN being there when Stone was arrested, but he has not said anything publicly or directly about Roger Stone or the charges against him. All right, here are some artist sketches from the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale. As you know, cameras are not allowed in federal courtrooms. So here is the artist rendition. You see in this, the second figure from the left, obviously, is Roger Stone in shackles coming into the courtroom where he appeared before Magistrate Judge uh, Lorena Snow. And uh, no guilty plea was entered. This is simply a first appearance. We are on the scene when Roger Stone comes out of that courthouse. We're going to hear from him. In the newsroom, Michael Putney, Local 10 News.